Hey everyone, and welcome to a Little Planet Coaster special week. Today we're talking about the London Suburb Park, which in fact was one of my first parks I ever made in Planet Coaster back in 2016-17. And this wonderful project that you can actually see in front of you as a little cinematic review was um, one of the first uh, full game release parks I built. Previously, I had built in the alpha stages of the game and this was also a time where Frontier Developments was still a rather small studio, no big IPs other than Elite Dangerous and um, yeah, it was a very lovely new community that has been um, created and that was basically developing. And today I wanted to talk to you about this project in particular. And this week, every single day, there will be another Planet Coaster project in a couple of minutes to talk about how it was back then. Because I figured there are so many new people on the channel that might have not uh, been there back then. And so let's talk about that. You will always find the playlist of these projects at the top right. And now we talk about the London Suburb Park. So what I did is um, I built myself a little map as you can see, there are a couple of wonderful buildings uh, recreating a little London suburb around this park and I set myself a little challenge to make this park fit into the boundaries of a little park that has been repurposed into a baby theme park and that was the chance uh, to create a little family park. It only features a couple of rides but most likely flat rides and um, the point of this video um, is also to stress again that back in the days I think the focus on coasters was very high and uh, you know many flat flat rides were kind of forgotten, but this is a little bit of a sad thing because the flat rides in Planet Coaster are wonderfully designed, they are brilliant additions and actually they are a lot more important than you would think, so we can have a little look here for example to one of the classics, the little breakdance uh, ride over here. Um, the animations and everything is just ridiculously good and I'm really really sad that I don't have enough time to play more of this beautiful game, but who knows in the future again maybe we see a you know, success to this game but I love it and London Suburb gave me the chance to really try myself into building a park that features a bit more of this especially um, flat rides and you know just in general a little bit more of a gentle family park we've got a lot of other projects that focused more on rides and you know more like the thrill seekers but that one was really focused on the families and uh, we still had some thrilling rides in this park and it uh, yeah featured also a couple of other rides as well. It's pretty crowded, people love the park and it has a bridge that crosses one of the roads. The inspiration was really not uh, a particular park, it was mainly like you know, kind of a uh, best of of classical uh, parks. The only issue though is that I would actually criticize today is that it all is a bit very squarey, you know. Um, back then um, I made this design on purpose because um, a lot of the tools we had in the game at later stages weren't available, such as curbs, barriers and vista points and you know, all these kind of things weren't available back then. And so I went for a grid design that made my life a little bit easier at that time. However, Nowadays, I would actually go into a way more flowing, way more roundish park, but uh, to be fair, at least I have the argument on my side that some of the suburbs had a very gritty design anyway, so that would make sense, but, uh, you know, that's like a little bit of a shaby kind of argument to save my little butt. But, you know, um, I'm still very happy and pleased with the result of it. This uh, wonderful little park, um, yeah, has a special uh, place in my heart because it really started off building a full project and it started also off um, yeah, me realizing that I'm actually doing this uh, a bit more serious now on the channel and so yeah that was really like a nice little time back then and uh, I actually like to be always uh, focused again on these old projects and I really think it really has something very important for the channel but also it sparks already quite a bit of nostalgia which I think is a pretty pretty damn great um, compliment for the game Planet Coaster because it shows how it ages and whenever I talk about Roller Coaster Tycoon for example I have a certain feeling that comes to my belly you know and my whole body and it just the music and everything connects with me um, in a way that I do remember good memories and stuff and Planet Coaster starts to have the same effect on me uh, which again is a good compliment because that shows how much of an impact the game had to me and especially this project um, really get the feeling of this cozy vibes of this park and I really remember um, building this you know I've got a lot of memories what I did in that time what happened in my life and 
yeah, I'm just very happy that I was able to show that again to you. Now, it's up to you. Tell me how you like the project. Did you know that? I really want to know from you guys watching this video in 2021. Have you been here for the video? Have you watched it? And if not, are you planning on watching the series maybe? You'll find again the link to the top right in the description. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this little look back into the past of Rudy Rencamel and Planet Coaster. Again, this week, every single day, there will be another project where we talk in a couple of minutes about it. Uh, you can be very much excited for those who come. You can already guess which parks I'm choosing. Maybe some are surprising, maybe some are not, but you'll see that. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's little catch up on London Suburb Park in Planet Coaster. I wish all of you a beautiful week, a wonderful week, stay safe, and I talk to you in the next one. Goodbye.